Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ava Kumari. Today we will discuss a topic from dynamics and the topic is motion of center of inertia. So in this topic, the questions comes in the form or the theorem like prove that the center of inertia of a body moves as if all the mass of the body were collected at it and if all the external forces acting on the body were acting on it. Fine. In directions parallel to those in which they act. So let us prove this theorem. So first we prove this by vector method. So here we first prove by vector method. So here in vector method, so for this we consider a rigid body in motion, in motion at time t. Fine. And then we let R be the position vector the position vector of the particle m of the body of the body and f the external force F the external force acting on it, acting on it. Then by the equation of the body, then by the equation of the body, we have m d2r by dt square is equals to sigma f. Move on. Earlier we have discussed this one. If r be the position vector, if r be the position vector, fine, of the center of inertia, of the center of inertia, of the body then so what we have here is r is equals to sigma m r divided by sigma m and this value is given as sigma m r divided by m so this implies the value Sigma M R is equals to capital M and then R. So put this as equation number two. Fine. But from one and two, what we see from equation one and two, we have. So what we have here is M D two R by D T square is equals to sigma F. This is the vector form of the equation of motion of a particle of mass m. So this is the vector form of the equation of motion of a particle of mass m. Mass m placed at the center of inertia center of inertia right of the body acted upon by the external forces external forces 
Fine. Now let us see the Cartesian form. Cartesian form. So for the Cartesian form, let us take x equals to xi, yj, and then zk. Therefore, dr by dt, you can write like xi, y dot j, z dot k. Fine. Therefore, d2r by dt square is equals to x double dot i, y double dot j, and then z double dot k. And since m into d2r by dt square is sigma f, therefore, there we have m now place the value of d2r by dt square from here so what we get it is x double dot i y double dot j z double dot k and this value is equals to sigma f so what the sigma f here is x i y j and then z k therefore on equating both side what we have now equating like terms we have so what we get here is capital x equals to mx double dot capital y equals to m y double dot and capital z equals to m z double dot so here is this equation number three completely is no gives the equation of motion of a particle of mass m here the equation 3 gives the equation of motion equation of motion of a particle of mass m placed at center placed at center of inertia of the body and acted upon by the external force sigma f thank you